In standard English, verbs are supposed to agree in number with their subjects. Singular subject, singular verb. Plural subject, plural verb. The rule is clear, but applying it can sometimes be tricky. Here are the main sources of doubt. Collective nouns. A collective noun is singular in form, but possibly plural in meaning since it refers to a collection of members. Examples might be administration, army, audience, band, class, committee, crowd, faculty, family, fleet, government, public, team, etc. Lots of people, but they're all part of one collective noun. So they are technically singular. The orchestra, which is a group of musicians, would be then singular in number. And therefore, the verb would be singular in number. Singular noun, singular verb. Another source of confusion are what are called numerical collective words. Words like majority, minority, plurality, mass, and number. They take either a singular or a plural verb according to what is being discussed. The totality of the collective noun or the individual items that make up that noun. Thus, the democratic majority would be considered a totality. As a totality, it is singular number. Thus, the verb is singular number. Singular subject, singular verb. The opposite is true with the phrase, the majority of Democrats. Now here we're talking about individual items or individual people within a democratic party. The majority are individuals. Therefore, the collective noun is considered plural in number. If the collective noun is considered plural, therefore, the verb would be plural in number as well. The majority of de Democrats are staunchly opposed. The mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation. These are just a couple of examples. Another source of confusion are the words each, either, and neither. As pronoun subject, these words are always singular, even when followed by a plural construction such as of them. So, in the sentence, each of them has their own way of doing things, we fall back on the rule that these pronoun subjects are always singular. Thus, each is singular in number. Therefore, the verb has is a verb which is also singular number. Each of them has their own way of doing things. Same rule applies to either. Either of these purple skateboards. Always singular number. Therefore, the verb is singular number. Thus, many people do understand the rule that when a subject is singular, the verb must be singular. When the subject is plural, the verb must be plural. At, by the same token, we do need to understand the exceptions, but I believe if we understand the major concept and the major rules that apply to each of these exceptions, we can understand how to use verb agreement and to make our subjects and verbs agree in number.